the mixed doubles, I can tell you that awaiting the winners of the match we're about to witness will be the Olympic champions, Chan Nan and Xiao Yun Lei, who've come through a thrilling encounter against Mr. and Mrs. Adcock from England. Three games needed, 18, 21, 21, 14, 21, 13 in an hour and two minutes. And indeed, it is the Olympic champions who are on top of the road to Malaysia list. This is, of course, the top five on the Super Series standings in the race to the Super Series finals to be staged in Kuala Lumpur in December. The world champions at the number two position, but up four places from last week after their semi-final is the pair we're about to witness, Xu Chen and Ma Jin. Only five tournaments so far on the Super Series, this Chinese pair. Two finals, two semi-finals, and one quarter-final as well. I can tell you that Sukit Prakamol and Sarari Tongkam are down one place and just outside the top ten of those Super Series standings. Currently at number 11, having played seven of the previous nine. Super Series tournaments. So the Guard of Honor. And here come the two pairs for this mixed doubles semi final. The number two seeds, there they are, the defending champions, Xu Chen and Ma Jin, trying to reach their third consecutive final here at the French Open. Beaten finalists in 2011. Now to look at Fisher Nielsen and Christina Peterson. But this pair from Thailand, the number seven seeds, winners of this title three years ago, back in 2010. So the umpire, Jan Anderson from Sweden. Toss of the coin. Receiving. So, as far as the Chinese pair are concerned, silver medals in both last year's London Olympic Games and the recent World Championships. In fact, they had two match points in the final of the World Championships and squandered them both. Zhu Chen. 28 years of age from Jiangsu province, so he'll turn 29 next month, and Ma Jin, 25 from Qingdao. Chinese pair, as I say, only five Super Series tournaments up till now. Their opponents, Sukit Prakamol and Sarali Thongtongkam, Sukit, he's 33 years of age, Sara Lee is 34, so veterans of the Thailand team, not only winners here previously three years ago, World Championship bronze medalist twice going back to 2005 in Anaheim and 2006 in Madrid. Finalists two years ago as well. Well, that's ominous if you're a Thailand fan, because the last meeting, in fact, all five previous meetings won by the Chinese pair. The last in the semi-final of the Korean Super Series at the beginning of this year, as we saw in two straight games. In fact, only once in the previous meetings has the match gone to three games. So I guess we can say that Xu Shen and Ma Jin, overwhelming favourites for this encounter. But sport's a funny old thing. Can't rely on who's favourites. That's why we watch sport. That's why we love sport. Expect the unexpected. You never know. Well, for the 
Thailand pair, this French title three years ago. It was one of only two Super Series titles that they've ever won. Another one being the Indonesian Super Series last year. Just waiting for the announcement from the umpire. The Ladies and gentlemen, on, on my right, Su Shen, Ma Yin, China. On my left, Sudkit Prapakamul, Sarale Tung Tung Kam, Thailand. Sarale Tung Tung Kam to serve to Su Chen, Lavol, play. So the defending champions nearest to us, Xu Chen and Ma Jin. Seven seats on the side of the court. Service over. One love. Well, as far as the defending champions are concerned, they won all of their matches in two straight games so far. They haven't played against another seeded pair until today. Yesterday, they had a very close match against. Praveen Jordan and Vita Marissa of Indonesia. 25-23 in the second game. In fact, they were 17-20 down. Had to save four game points before actually winning that second game. Thailand there. Well, they had a second round encounter, repeating the final of three years ago against Michael Fuchs and Birgit Michels of Germany. Needed three games for that. Quarter-final yesterday evening. Our last matches on court against Kenichi Hawakawa and Misaki Matsutomo. Look pretty comfortable. Two straight games. The well, concern I have, even in these very early stages, is whether the Thailand pair actually have the belief that they can win this encounter. Five and zero, the head to heads and four love. I'd certainly like to see a bit more belief. Mm. Five love. Spur them into action. Sukit Pakamol. He's a very dynamic, exciting player when he's on form. Service <laughs> over. Six one. Return of serve. Really let the shuttle come to him rather than stepping out towards it. And then looks sluggish in defensive play as well. Sometimes I think that Chi Chen, he's such a physical specimen, he's got such a hard smash. He relies too much on his physicality and his power and sort of thinking more about placement of his shots. Over two titles seven, here last two. year. The women's doubles with Tang Jinhua. Also won the World Mixed Doubles title in this very arena. 
This must be one of her so kid. most famous come here. favorite places to both, play. Both teams, come here. Oh dear, umpire's gonna have a word already. Continuous play, no delaying of game, okay? Yeah. Well, speak to both pairs. The umpire is seven. inspired both pairs into more intensity. I can tell you after that rally, the two Chinese players are deep in conversation. Yeah. I will say that it was heated conversation. Who should have Let's. taken that one down the middle? Championships were stayed in this, staged in the Stade de Coubertin. She won two medals, two finals, gold medal with Jin Bolt, and a silver medal with Wang Xiaoli. Let. Oh dear, the mind games here. Well, the umpire's already had a word with both pairs. That's nice. Well, he walks around in between rallies as if he hasn't a care in the world, Sukit Prakamol. And then suddenly, explosive dynamic movement and great disguise on his shots like that. Over ten, four. Over five, ten. Thailand pair are going to be in trouble five, if they give Ma Jin that sort of freedom at the front of the court. One of the best front court players in world badminton. A six point advantage of the defending champions here at the mid game interval. Court one, 20 seconds. 11-5. 11-5. 
Seven, five. Play. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah. Service over. Nice little Six, disguise. Of oh, course, push cross court from Sidket. over 12 6. Yes, it was these two pairs that met in the final of the All England two years ago. Six play. Oh, how did they get out of the trouble? Right? The Chinese six. pair. Good defense, good reactions from margin. That's the one. Service over, 7.13. Just 15, in total seven. control at the moment, the Chinese pair. Service over. Eight. Fifteen. Yeah, well worked. Oh, I know it's terribly difficult when you're playing against Margin because she's so good at the net. But I'd really like to see Sara Lee take her on a little bit more, stand her ground. Oh, even trickery. Oh, she's missed it. Goodness me. An open court, eight. really, for yep. Sara Lee. The dive from Ju Chen after the between the legs shot all she had to do was really get it over and in not a sign of the confidence from the chinese pair it's almost as if there's a feeling of inevitability with both pairs the chinese feel they're going to win the pair from thailand always seem resigned to the fact that this is a pair they can't beat 
play. Good. Service over nine seventy. Yeah, that's good. Ten Change seventy. Of direction on the low serve. Try something different. It's when you have to believe you can win. 11.70. Famously, of course, Vitas Gerolitis lost 16 consecutive matches against Bjorn Borg in tennis. And won on the 17th occasion. Famously said after the match, well, what was different today? It was that nobody beats Vitas Gerolitis 17 times. Well, as far as the Thailand pair are concerned, in this mixed doubles, and only lost five consecutive times. Opportunities for the defending champions. Yeah, rather lamely given away with a simple First error. Game, one, Mike Kuchen, Kuchen, Mike Kuchen, Mike Kuchen. 21 12, the opening game for the defending champions against the former champions from Thailand. For 16 minutes needed for game number one. Disruption there. An interview taking place on the adjoining court, which really is a bit disturbing to the other players playing semi final matches. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Well, I wonder what the Thailand coaches have said to this pair. Sarale, receive. The vastly experienced are Suke Prakamol and Sarale. Second game, love all, play. Thailand play, you've got to remember. And ranked number seven in the world. In fact, they've gone up one place this week, which is perhaps a little bit surprising because one they've only won love. one match in the last three tournaments prior to getting here to Paris. Lost second round of the China Masters, first round of Japan, first round last week in Denmark. They go up one place in the world ranking. Oh. 
two, love. You're confused by that. Of course, perhaps I ought to explain that it's just your best 10 results from the past 12 months. Count towards your world ranking, so that's how that happens. Three, love. The, the whole body language of the Thailand pair concerns me considerably. You can't come out to these matches saying to yourself, oh, I may have lost in the past, but today is going to be my day. I'm going to win. I believe I can win. To be honest, I haven't really seen enough of that so far in this match at all. When she's not challenged at the net. She's going to have free reign, and of all the players in World Badminton, you don't want to give free reign to on net play is Margin because she's quite brilliant. Service over. The court. Two, five. Uh, I look you. Attempted Six. kill there, coming off the frame of the racket. There we go. Two mistakes after the other. For margin, Sara Lee. Springing the step now seven. of the Thailand pair. That's good to see. Service over eight six.
Yeah, that's a good rally too. Over, All seven, of a sudden, Thailand really picked up their game. Well, they certainly needed to, there's no question of that. We've now seen some very good rallies. Seven, eight, play. Fault. Service over. Power comes Nine, to his rescue seven. once again. Xu Chen. at one stage and as if, if they weren't really interested at 1-5 down in this second game. Got themselves together and they're back level. Indeed into the lead. 10-9. Interval. And suddenly, from nowhere, Thailand pair have the advantage of the mid-game interval. Two-point advantage, to be precise. And look at <laughs> the body language there from Margin, hand on hip. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. <laughs> 11 9, play. Play is about to resume. Go. I said it was dynamic and exciting Grand when it was on form. And it's now a run of five straight points. It was 7 9 down, and now 12 9 up. What a transformation! Over ten, twelve. Yeah, that's nice. Eleven, twelve.
Service no over. serve is called just short. 13 11. match of the afternoon men's doubles Indonesians looking down and out coming back to win we're going to see a similar thing here in the mixed doubles oh. just wide Jin doesn't like the call see it from this angle. Sarali. 12 15. Play. Oh, what a delightful drop shot. Sarali. in the Air Force, and I tell you, the radar and vision there, absolutely perfect. Saw where the gap was, floated the shuttle down. Seven seeds from Thailand. Yeah, all of a sudden, they're attacking. Sara Lee's standing her ground at the net and forcing Ma Jin back into the mid-court position. Thank you. Seventeen twelve play. Five point advantage. Oh, that's good. Service job. over. Thirteen seventeen. Oh, 
good. 15, 17. Mm. Well, Suke, it's okay. a sideline in question. A little scratch of the head from Suke. Well, there's the two hand signals. And look at these. There's where she's going to serve and then where she's going to cover the shot. The third shot. Excellent play. 16, 17. Third get, play on. Oh, it's got it in each other's way. from the back of the court and the disguise on the drop shot here absolutely brilliant Seventeen all. Yeah, smile and well, they need to be intense this next rally 17 all straight points for the defending champions. That's six straight points. 18, 17. just in time, he was going to play it, decided it was going to go wide. It was a wise decision, Rowley just got himself out of the way. If the shuttle had touched him before it had landed, that would have been a fault. 18 or Nine points going to Shu Chen and Margin to bring up two match point opportunities. Short. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, they almost got in each other's way. Pitt decided to play it and played the perfect drop shot. Look, they're both going for it. Mm, goodness me. Talk about living dangerously. Second match point opportunity. Sorry, play on.
defending champions did well. 12-17 down on nine. Next 11 points. Their confirmation that they're through to the final for a third consecutive year. Xu Chen and Ma Jin, the defending champions, will meet the Olympic champions in tomorrow's mixed doubles final. So just two more semi-finals to come, the women's doubles and the men's singles. Women's doubles, Meswari and Polly from Indonesia against the pair that won last week in Denmark, Bao Sin and Tang Jin Hua. And of course for Tang Jin Hua, she is the defending champion of the women's doubles, having won the title last year with the lady we've just seen in the mixed doubles margin. The men's singles will finish off world number one. Way of Malaysia against Kanichi Tago of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> 